Welcome back to Redemption Bar in Westbourne Park. This is an alcohol-free zone. Still with us uh, is uh, a very old chatty man, uh, not the one show's uh, panellist, Rich Patrick. We've also got Claudia Liza, our lunchtime teetotal queen. And also joining us now is Catherine Solway, who runs the bar. Catherine, where did the idea come from uh, for, for a no-alcohol bar? Well, I know it's radical and crazy, but I just thought there was an opportunity to do something different on the scene. I think we're almost at saturation point with how much we're drinking as a country, so I thought, well, if we can make it cool to have a night off booze, then we're, we're contributing, hopefully, positively to the situation. Is it a bit of a risky move, though? Because, you know, people do like to drink. Booze is part of our culture, isn't it? It's a totally risky move, and sometimes I wake up thinking, what on earth have I done? Um, but I think that uh, when I was testing it, it was definitely the under 30 that we're really embracing the idea and that's the kind of people we get in the bar so I think when young people embrace something it's a sign you're onto something and, and it, there's signs that young people are drinking less and less all the time so I'm tapping into a consumer trend so it's not a completely crazy idea but I mean it's definitely on um, like the forefront forefront of innovation it's not an easy project for sure yeah one thing I want to know do you get people dancing on the bar we did have. We had a party a couple of weeks ago. We had um, a gay and lesbian sober party, and uh, they brought the house down. So um, it is possible to have a good time without booze, believe it or not. OK, Catherine Solway, thanks very much. I'm going to move over to the other side because we're going to do a bit of a taste test now. Richard Patrick does not like uh, to miss out on a pint on a Friday night, but we have managed to grab him down here. Um, first one up then, Claudia Liza, we know that you do like uh, non-alcoholic drinks. Let's try what I'm told is a Beetotini, which is this one here. Tell me what you think. That's good, my friend. Very nice. Really nice. Doesn't taste beet juicy at all. Really. It's like a, it's more. It's like a fruit juice. It feels more like a fruit juice, but it's really sweet. It's lovely. Yeah. Very nice. More fruity than vegetable. Okay, I'm told in that one we've got uh, beetroot, and it's very good for a hangover. Next one then is uh, a cocorita. Rich, you go first. Okay. Okay. That's really nice. That one. What does it taste like? Coconuts, funnily enough. <laughs> like You'd it. imagine. Yeah. Coconut lemonade. It's really nice. Yeah. I prefer the BT one, the beetroot one. Okay. Any other any other flavours coming through on that one? A bit of sugar, lemon, coconut, one moment. I'm told all natural sugar. You're going back for more. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't taste it properly. Let me taste it again. Rich, get the next one going. Okay, last one then is uh, an apple, am I saying it right, mojito? Apple mojito. That one's amazing. But that tastes, I still think that tastes a little bit alcoholic because it's got the mint in it, but maybe that's just because I'm used to drinking mojitos. That's bad, isn't it? That it's like, you're I'm willing, associating it willing. with, yeah. You're just topping up from last night. Uh, go on, try this one. He's willing, he's willing the alcohol. And it's, I love this. Oh, no, yeah, it's good. I've already had this. This is my favourite. This is gorgeous. And I can't believe there's no sugars in it, so um, I can actually drink it and not feel guilty, which is yeah. awesome. I love this. Final word then from Rich on this. Um, can we convince you to maybe give up booze on a night, or are you going to go back to the pub after this? No, have a word. I'm going to go have a Carlsberg after this, but these are amazing. They're really nice. Also, all the names are really good. I love a pun. Mm, lots of beers are available other than that one that he mentioned there.